Hello friends, welcome to the IT projects. In this video, we will make another ESP32 based IoT project using the ESP Rainmaker to control for appliances with Google Assistant, Alexa, and manual switches. You can monitor the real time feedback and the sensor readings on your smartphone from anywhere in the world. When there is no internet, still you can control the appliances with manual switches. During the video, we will also add some automation to turn on and off the devices automatically according to the predefined time schedule. For this project, you don't need any devices like Google or Amazon Echo. We can easily control appliances using free applications. We have used all the free tools, so you don't have to spend money on the software part. If you have ESP32 relay module, DST11 or DST22 temperature and humidity sensor, LDR sensor, a few switches and jumper cables then you can easily make this project at your home. During this video, I have shared the circuit diagram, source code and all other configuration details. So you can easily do this project after watching the complete video. To test the project, you can use breadboard assembly. But if you want to implement this project on your home electric board, then I recommend you to use a zero PCV or use a custom PCV to avoid any loose connections and short circuits. I have already designed a custom PCV for this project. You can go to download links to download the project Garber file and order directly from PCBWay.com. Because PCBWay is one stop solution for all your PCV needs like PCB prototyping, SMD stencils, PCV assembly, etc. Currently, they have moved to a new factory and offering you up to 20% discount on 4 layer PCVs and 6 layer PCVs. PCV Way provides high quality material TG150 to 160 but keeps the same price as TG130 to 140. So, get your first prototype PCV ready from PCVWay.com. The link is in the description below. Just click on the PCV Instant Quick tab, then click on Quick Order PCV. Now, upload your Garber file, select your preferred shipping method, and place your order. Now, before going to the details, let me show you how the project works. If you see the blue LED glowing on ESP32, then it indicates that ESP32 is connected to your Wi-Fi network. So, I can control it with Google Assistant and Alexa. Hey Google, turn on switch one. All right. You can see the light turned on. Hey Google, turn on switch 3. Sure, turning the switch 3 on. Now, let me give multiple commands at once to Google Assistant. Hey Google, turn off switch 1 and switch 3. As you can see the LED bulbs connected to switch 1 and switch 3 are off. Now, let me turn it on with Alexa. Alexa turn on switch 2 and switch 4. You can see the light turn on. And I can also easily turn on and off all the lights with a single command. Hey Google, turn on all switches. Hey Google, turn off all the switches. As you can see, all the lights turn on and off together. The best part of this project is, if you have any Alexa or Google Assistant supported device, then you can control appliances from them directly. For demonstration, I have this smartwatch which has built-in Alexa support. So I can directly control the appliances from this smartwatch as well. Turn on switch 1. Turn off switch 1. Isn't it interesting and exciting features? Now, let me use manual switches to control these lights. 
You can see that I can easily control all the lights with the manual switches. Now let me turn off the Wi-Fi and show you how it works without the internet. After turning off the Wi-Fi, you can see the blue LED turn off. So I can only control these appliances using manual switches. Let me turn on the Wi-Fi again. If the Wi-Fi is available, the ESP32 will automatically connect with the Wi-Fi and the blue LED will turn on. Now again, I can control all these lights with Alexa and Google Assistant. Now let me go to the Rainmaker app to control switches and monitor the sensor readings. Now I can control switches using these buttons. Here you can see the sensor readings, temperature, humidity and the LDR. First, let me cover the LDR sensor with my hand. And you can see the value decreased. If I remove my hand, you can see the value increasing. Now, let me increase the temperature with external heat. You can see the value is increasing. Now, let me add some automation to control the release with the predefined time schedule. For that, we need to create a schedule. Tap on schedule and tap on air schedule. Give a name, you can give any name. Then tap on OK. Now select a time. You can also repeat this automation in the action. In the action, I want the second relay and fourth relay to turn on. Now let me tap on done. Now it is 12.40 pm and as per the automation, at 12.41 pm, the second and fourth relay should turn on. You can see the second and fourth relay automatically turn on. So this is a very useful feature. You can add any automation according to your requirement with the ESP Rainmaker app. Now without any further delay, let's make this project. This is the circuit for this project. I have given the 5 volt supply to ESP32, the relay module and the sensors. And the switches are connected across the GPIO pins and ground pins. Please take proper safety precautions while connecting these appliances with the relay module. As you can see the circuit is very small, you can easily make it. But I will highly recommend you to use a PCB for this project. This is the source code for this project. You can copy this code from our website. Just visit the article link given in the description. Then you can copy all the codes from here. First of all, you have to update the ESP32 board to the latest version 2.0.4. So for that first, you have to copy the preference links. Then go to file and select preference. And here you have to update the URLs. After that click on OK. Then go to tools, select boards, then board manager. Then search for ESP32. Here you have to install the latest version 2.0.4. I have already installed it. You also need to install the DST library from the library manager. I have already installed it. You can change the service name and password from here. This is the name of a node and under this node you will find all these four devices. If you want, you can change these names. These are the device names. Here I have given the names. Switch 1, Switch 2, Switch 3 and Switch 4. But you can give any name as per your requirement like light, AC, TV, fan, etc. Alexa and Google will identify the device with these names. The source code is compatible with both DST-1 and DST-2 sensors, so you can uncomment this DST-2 part and comment the DST-1 part to use the DST-2 sensor instead of DST-1. So after doing the necessary changes, you can directly upload this code to ESP32. For that, go to Tools and select the board as the ESP32 DEV module. Then in the Partition Scheme and select the Rainmaker. And after that, select the proper COM port, then hit the upload button. After uploading the code to ESP32, open the serial monitor. Here I have selected the board rate 115 to 00. Now you have to press and hold the boot button of the ESP32. 
press and hold it for 4 seconds then release it so you can see the QR code I will just copy the link just below the QR code now you open a browser and here I will paste it and press enter so now we have to scan the QR code with the ESP Rainmaker app you can download it from the Google Play Store or App Store. Let me open the app. Now first, before I scan the QR code, I have to turn on the Bluetooth and GPS. After that, I will tap on a device. Now scan the QR code. Then I have to enter the Wi-Fi details and tap on start. It may take some time, so now I will tap on done. So here you can see all the devices we have added. Now I will quickly connect Google Assistant in Amazon Alexa. So I will tap on the setting, then I will tap on voice service. First I will tap on Amazon Alexa. Now it is showing already link with Amazon Alexa. Now we will connect the Google Assistant. For that we have to open the Google Home app. Let me open the Google Home app. You can install this app from Google Play Store or App Store. Now here tap on this plus icon first. I will create a home. So I will tap on create a new home. And here let me give the name ESP32 Smart Home. You can give any name. Now I will tap on continue. I will not enter any home address so I will skip this step and select continue without address. Our home is created. Now again I will tap on this plus icon and select set of devices. And now tap on works with Google. Here I have to search for ESP Rainmaker. So let me type the ESP. Now I have to tap on the ESP Rainmaker. Now Tap on continue. Now let me exit to the main dashboard. So here you can see that all four devices were added successfully. And during this process you can see the blue LED glowing which indicates now the ESP32 is connected to the Wi-Fi. So this is a very useful IoT project and you can easily make it at home. If you find this project helpful then please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.